Want to hear the world's most trending update? The James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope on Monday reached the spot one million miles from Earth, where it will begin peering back to the time where the first stars and galaxies were formed, 13.7 billion years ago. That's so exciting. Welcome back to our channel. We are back again today for the most trending and exciting news from the world of space. So get ready for a short trip to space. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our updates. Let's talk about the telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has completed its deployment phase and unfolded its final mirror panel, a successor to the Hubble Telescope. It's the most powerful telescope ever built to date. First of all, what is this telescope? The Space Telescope's infrared technology will provide a chance to view the earliest stars and galaxies that formed more than 13 billion years ago. Astronomers hope to glean new insights into the origins of the universe. The Space Telescope took off on Christmas Day aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana, starting its journey one million miles into space to its orbital point, known as Lagrange Point. The Space Telescope was too big to be transported in a rocket in its operational form, so it needed to be collapsed like origami to fit. Unfolding the telescope has proven remarkably difficult and may be one of the most challenging NASA projects, the US Space Agency has said. We've still got work to do, NASA said, as the wing of the Space Telescope moved into position. When the final latch is secure, NASA Webb will be fully unfolded in space. The Space Agency's telescope blog said the unfolding of the mirrors was the last of the major deployments on the observatory. NASA engineers cheered as the James Webb Space Telescope finished its two-week-long deployment phase and unfolded its last mirror panel. At the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, the engineering teams watched the events in space. The telescope will aid them in the study of the history of the cosmos. People from around the world tuned in as the Space Telescope unfurled the golden flower-shaped mirror. Senior NASA engineer and mission chief Thomas Zurbachin said during the live feed broadcast online, I'm emotional about it. What an amazing milestone. Zurbachin added, we see that beautiful pattern out there in the sky now. Dubbed the golden eye of the space telescope, the mirror is made of lightweight beryllium. All 18 segments of the mirror are coated with an extremely thin layer of gold, which is extraordinarily reflective in infrared light. At a cost of $10 billion, the James Webb Space Telescope is far more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb, on Monday, reached the 1 million miles mark from Earth, where it will begin peering back into time, where the first stars and galaxies were forming 13.7 billion years ago. The trip to the designated orbit point, more than four times further away than the Moon, has taken a month. The telescope, which was launched from French Guiana on Christmas, is now in orbit at the so-called second Lagrange point. That is a place where the gravitational forces of the Sun and Earth balance each other out, meaning that the telescope needs little energy to avoid falling into a gravity well of either heavenly body. Now, the main question, what is the purpose of this telescope? Scientists hope the telescope, which will ultimately cost some $10 billion altogether, will make observations that can provide clues as to the origins of the universe. It will also scan the atmosphere of other worlds for possible signs of life. Before going into operation, however, the 18 hexagonal segments of the telescope's gold-coated 21-foot diameter primary mirror must be precisely aligned with one another. Webb, welcome home, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson in a statement. We're one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe. And I can't wait to see Webb's first new views of the universe this summer. NASA joined the European and Canadian space agencies on the project to send the telescope into space, where it will be able to see farther and more clearly than when Earth's distorting atmosphere gets in the way. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most expensive scientific platforms ever built, comparable to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN or the Hubble Space Telescope. Behind all this, what more work is needed to make the Space Telescope operational? 
Final steps to set up the telescope include calibrating the scientific instruments and aligning its optics. This week, the James Webb Telescope also unraveled its sunshield, all five layers of it, in what is considered the most riskiest part of the deployment operation. The kite-like 70-foot umbrella will keep the scientific instruments in sub-zero shade to be able to pick up infrared signals from the outer reaches of the universe. The shield will be deployed to protect the space telescope from the light of the sun, the earth and the moon and can protect it in temperatures of up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. We're one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe and I can't wait to see the web's first new views of the universe this summer, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has said in a statement. The telescope will enable astronomers to peer back further in time than ever before, all the way back to when the first stars and galaxies were forming 13.7 billion years ago. That's a mere 100 million years from the Big Bang, where the universe was created. Besides making stellar observations, Webb will scan the atmospheres of alien worlds for possible signs of life. Webb is officially on station, said Keith Parrish, a manager on the project. This is just capping off a remarkable 30 days. The telescope was launched from French Guyana on Christmas. A week and a half later, a sun shield as big as a tennis court stretched open on the telescope. The instrument's gold-coated primary layer, 21 feet across, unfolded a few days later. The primary mirror has 18 hexagonal segments, each the size of a coffee table, that will have to be painstakingly aligned so that they can see as one, a task that will take three months. Spacewalking astronauts performed surgery five times on Hubble. The first operation, in 1993, corrected the telescope's blurry vision, a flaw introduced during the mirror's construction on the ground. Whether chasing optical and ultralight like Hubble or infrared light like Webb, telescopes can see farther and more clearly when operating above Earth's distorting atmosphere. That's why NASA teamed up with the European and Canadian space agencies to get the Webb and its mirror, the largest ever built into the cosmos. With this, we wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for being a part of our team. We appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you all so much for watching. 